From all of this, we make 2D annotated drawings. Um, some people call them installation drawings. Some people call them shop drawings. But we give you the installation drawings, again, pretty similar to construction drawings, except that we add an additional level of detail to it. Uh, there's a couple different types that we can make. So we've got sleeve drawings, overhead drawings, and as I mentioned again earlier, composite drawings, where we put all the trades together. There's usually a minimum amount of dimensional and elevation information on the composite drawing, but it gives you that big picture. So the superintendent can put that under his arm. He's out there on site. An unforeseen conflict comes up, and everyone knows right away what the downstream impact of making a field change might be. Um, we have notes and elevations on there. All of this is scripted using our best practices. So when we put dimensions on there, for example, we're cognizant of what will already be in place in the field. Uh, we're not going to dimension off of wall lines if there's not going to be any walls in place. Rather, we'll go back to the column lines, especially if you have like control lines. If you've already decided what the project control lines are, we can pull all of our dimensions back to those common lines. It makes everything a lot easier because we are coordinating so many trades. We can tie all the trades back to a single set of control lines, and it really mitigates the risk that work gets installed out of place. These drawings are structured for client review and feedback, so they can be printed out, given to everyone on site, redlined, marked up, write some RFIs, add them to the process, and then after six weeks, we'll go back through. Uh, make the updates in the model, update the drawings for you. We've got the revision block on there as a standard. We give you a drawing index so you know what's been updated and what hasn't. And then the coordination sign-off. So we're not replacing anyone. We want their validation and we sit with you um, and we go over everything right there in person with you and make sure that there's proper buy-in, everyone agrees with the assumptions we make, and then it can be signed off as a record drawing. So I'll show you some of those. This is a great byproduct. First one I'm going to show you is a sleeve drawing. Um, very, very proud of the quality of our sleeve drawings. This is an example plumbing sleeve drawing. But again, you can see all the penetrations that are going to be necessary on this deck. This was a post-tension concrete deck. Um, Anyone who's worked on a PT job knows exactly how critical this information is. Um, this stuff needs to be precise. You can see we're going down to the eighth inch tolerance. We're pulling everything back to the column lines that are going to be in place. We know there's no walls up there to go off of when you're inserting your sleeves. Um, and then we can make this a composite drawing as well. So in some cases, the superintendent he may not even want all of this dimensional information on there. However, he wants to see the penetration. He wants the notes and wants to know what's going to come up there. We show all of the trade penetrations. And then the morning of the pour, which is often very, very hectic, when they go out there and they do their last deck walk, they've got one composite set of sleeve drawings to just do a quick visual check and make sure are all the penetrations in here that need to be in there. Um, we can even help out with any electrical stuff that you're running in the slab. So if you have like your Smurf tube, or you've got your JBs, excuse me, your junction boxes in, embedded in the slab, um, we can take all of that and put it into deck drawings for you. We also make concrete deck drawings, so we call them concrete shop drawings, but they help with your form work, reinforcement, planning your control joints, making sure your sleeves and everything are falling. Uh, at the right break lines. This is an example of a lighting drawing that we would produce. This is an electrical output from our coordination process. Again, pretty similar to construction drawings, except that we give you the dimensions for all of the fixtures. You can see that we've color-coded them. So we've got the delineation between your emergency circuits versus your standard circuits. Um, we coordinate all of this with the reflected ceiling plan. So before a drawing like this gets done and during really one of the earliest steps in our coordination process, making sure that the HVAC diffusers and grills align with the lights, align with the sprinkler heads, 
and that the reflected ceiling plans are going to come out nice and even on site. So that's another really kind of good benefit to the service that we provide is that we can go to the level of detail of coordinating the reflected ceiling plan. This is an HVAC duct drawing that we would produce. This is the supply air. In this case, we've broken down, we created different sheets for the different systems just to keep the drawing from getting too congested. Uh, we didn't want to compromise any of the information that we put on here, so we have a composite drawing for all of the duct systems, and then you can go just to this sheet for the supply air. You can see we've got all the dimensions, bottom of duct, top of duct, insulation thickness, notes, um, so a very detailed, very thorough installation drawing. You get a color legend here. Uh, we'll reiterate all the notes for you that we may have used. Here's the title block. Uh, again, you got your drawing number, the drawing name, scale, date, created by. Here's your revision block, so as change orders, RFIs, updates are being made. And then here's your coordination sign-off block. This is a hydronic pipe, mechanical pipe drawing that we would do for you. Um, so here's your chill water system. Here's your heating hot water hydronic pipe. They're all piped out to these VAV units here. The VAV units are coming from the duct drawing so that you know you have that coordination across all the different trades. We've got the electrical whips out to install these VAVs. So everything in one environment coordinated for you. And here's your color scale. One thing we found through producing these drawings and giving them to the site, besides the additional level of detail that we go to and the standards we have for dimensioning and annotating, um, for some of these guys, if you're working out there on a ladder or you're standing knee deep in mud, just to have color-coded drawings is almost priceless. So by adding the color coding, the legends, the dimensions, um, the intent of these drawings when we work with you to finalize them is that once you get up there on that ladder to make this installation, you're not going to have to come back down to look and get additional information. We want to give you everything needed to install this system in a single shot. This is a plumbing, this is a gravity pipe drawing. Uh, this is all from a hospital project that we've done in the Midwest. So you can see here's all our uh, sanitary pipe right here. Nope, this is our rain leaders. And then here we've got the vent system. So we're coming up from the lobbies, tying in the vents from the toilet. Um, so this is a good gravity pipe drawing for us. And again, in that additional subcontractor phase, we can work with you. We have experience with prefabrication, the needs that there are for prefab. So after we do something like this, if your company is interested in getting into bagging and tagging these fittings, no hub bands, hanger rods, all that kind of stuff. That's the level of detail that we can work with you to achieve at the additional subcontractor phase. Uh, this is a pretty cool one here too. These are something I never experienced on site. I'm very proud of how my team worked up these. 3D isometric drawings, color coded. Again, um, trying to produce a set of drawings Maybe the foreman can read everything in a set of 2D prints, but if he's got a lot of guys on the job, they're coming into his office, asking him tons of questions, he's got five people standing around, he can flip to a drawing like this and show someone right away. See, this is what I mean. Um, so this is a great communication tool for the foremans who may understand it themselves, but still need to make sure that all of that gets tripled down to the rest of his team. Uh, here's a domestic water isometric drawing. 